Okay, let's look at how to automatically start up or shut down VMs. Uh, so why would you wanna do this? Well, well, let's say in the event that a ESXi host crashes, uh, for example, or you accidentally shut something down, you want something to start up again. Before we do get into that, remember as always to like my channel, uh, clicking subscribe and on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. So you can do this in two places. Uh, you can do this on uh, directly through vCenter, or you can do it directly on a host level uh, by logging in directly to the ESXi host. So let's look at the directly on the ESXi host first. So you've obviously logged in right here, okay? We're gonna click on the Manage tab, all right? And under here, you've got Auto Start. Now there's a number of reasons, as I said, why you may want to do this, but you can also set uh, delays, uh, start delays and stop delays and then a particular action that you want to happen uh, with a VM, for example, in the event, say, if a ESXi host has crashed. So you can go and edit these settings quite easily by saying a start delay, you wanna change that, or stop delay, you wanna change that. So what will happen, for example, is a host crashes, for example, and all the VMs that are on that host uh, now turn off. When you boot your ESXi host on, you want those VMs to start up automatically because by default, they will not start up automatically. So if you've got some important VMs uh, and you want to start them up, then uh, this is where you actually go and set it. Now the delay is important as well because in certain environments, you need to start VMs or servers in a particular order. So let's give you an example. You've got a domain controller, you've got an email server, you've got a database server, for example. So what you would need to do is you don't want to power all three of them on at the same time because the email server, let's say if you're running Exchange, needs the database server and needs the domain controller to be able to log in and start a whole bunch of services. So what you would do in that scenario, for example, is you'd make the domain controller boot up first. It's the very first server that should be running Everything will connect to that from a domain perspective. And then we can kick off the database server after that, give it some time to make sure it's all logged in and booted up. And then finally, the exchange server. So there's gonna be a sequence of uh, startups. Likewise, on a shutdown, you may wanna do the same thing, but in a reverse order. You shut down the email server first, then the, DC, then the database server and then anything else. And then finally being, for example, your domain controller, which is running AD and all of your domain. So from in here, we can leave the default uh, 120 seconds for start and stop. And you'll see that I've got all my VMs listed right here, as well as a couple of VMs right here, which are currently uh, turned on. My DC, I've already set it as my system default and it's auto start order being one. So at the moment, what will happen is if this particular ESXi host shuts down or crashes, I boot it back up. The only server that will start up will be DC01 because the rest of them are not doing anything. So as you can see that the VCSA server, it says not applicable because there's nothing actually being set on it. So it doesn't have a shutdown behavior, doesn't have an auto start order and the start delay is there, but it's irrelevant because uh, we haven't set anything on here. DC, you'll see that system default, auto start order one. So at the moment, if this host were to crash and I reboot it, uh, then only the DC01 would start up. Now I can easily change this by going into, let's say VCSA, let's say I want this uh, server to also boot up automatically. I can then select enable right here. And you'll see that by default, it's now set that as number two. So DC01 will start up first after 120 seconds, after two minutes, then VCSA will start up automatically. Okay, very, very easy. I can also go into, let's say VCSA, select that and select configure, and I can manually change the startup and stop delay because the defaults are 120. I can uh, also change those myself, right? So I can maybe say, I want this to actually be 240 seconds, save. So now this one will kick off after 240 seconds. And that's really the basic steps on how to start up and shut down VMs within ESXi. On vCenter, in a similar location, we've got the host itself uh, right here. I can select configure. Under virtual machines, I've got VM startup shutdown. 
and then here are all my VMs listed. And you see that by default, they're disabled. Startup is also 120, power off 120. Okay, so I can also do the same thing. Select, automatically start, stop the machine after 120 seconds. Okay, shutdown behavior is power off. Guest shutdown, suspend. So power off being, you're pulling the plug. Guest shutdown is a safe shutdown if the operating system allows that. And of course, you've got things like VMware tools installed. So we can actually say guest shutdown because we prefer it to be safe and okay. Okay. And then I can select DCO2 and say move up, move up. Okay, so you'll see that by default, manual startup is these. Automatic is this. If I can just move up again, it'll do it as manual order one. Okay, and then I could select a second server, move up, automatic, or I can say two. So now this one will be first after 120, then kick this one off right here and okay. Okay, and that's uh, really the basic steps. And you see that it's automatically updated. And now you see an automatic order for DCO2 first, followed by security 01. And that's how you start up and shut down VMs automatically on our ESXi host or within vCenter. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Please uh, comment below if it was. Let me know if you're having problems or if it was successful. Would really love to know. And as always, like and subscribe, clicking on the bell to be kept up to date with all the videos that I'm releasing. Thanks for watching and spending the time today. See you later.